Hey, Merrick here, Vinny Traveler. Right now I'm in Cartagena in Colombia, which is quite possibly the most tourist-friendly place in Colombia. Uh, it is very nice. Like, it's a beautiful old city. Everything is a boutique hotel or a boutique shop or some artisanal thing. Everything a tourist will want is here, basically. If you want to have that Caribbean holiday feeling, then Cartagena is the place to go. But I also like Colombia for the more, let's say, local or authentic places. These words are always a bit stupid, but you know what I mean. Like, I like the more low-key destinations as well. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of these destinations that I've really enjoyed. From Cartagena, I took a bus south to a town called San Onofre. There I jumped onto a motor taxi, which is definitely a fun way of getting around in Colombia. You jump on the back and your luggage goes in front with the driver. The beach town that I was going, I'd heard quite a bit about from other travelers before, so I was quite excited to make it my first stop on this trip. I was immediately in love with Rincon de Mar, which uh, has just a really relaxed vibe. People are friendly, there's music playing from different houses, and I was just like, yes, I've come to the right place. I was told about a fisherman who could take me to a bay that's great for snorkeling, but he became unavailable because he was too busy looking for mangoes. So I decided to go on a beach walk instead. Right, my first stop is the Rincón del Mar and it's got a real laid-back vibe. If you think of all the boutique hotel signs in Cartagena here, the signs are replaced with like hand lettering on driftwood, which is definitely my kind of vibe. I think Rincón del Mar is a little bit laid-back in part because it's not really on the way to anywhere else. So you have to go out of your way a little bit to come here, but if you do, you'll be quite rewarded, I think. Suddenly this guy came up to me with a bucket and he was offering me some of this fine seafood that he'd uh, collected this morning. I'm not usually a fan of slimy, salty sea creatures, but in the spirit of charcoal, of course, I said yes. Oh, he's making another one. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Muy rico, muy bueno. Muy bueno. <laughs> this little piece that needed to come out. Oh, that was just a seed from, <laughs> from the lime. So that was a really nice snack, actually. Uh, so five stars for that, guys. Um, I don't even know what they are. One of the really great things you can do in Rincón del Mar is to take a boat out at sunset to what is referred to as Bird Island. And when you get there, it's obvious why it's called that. It was such a wonderful, peaceful moment to see flocks of frigate birds and other birds arriving at this tiny island. What I don't show you here, because it was simply too dark, is that afterwards we went to a nearby lagoon where you can jump in the water and see bioluminescent plankton magically sparkle all around you. It was already dark at the time and in the distance a storm was raging with lightning strikes occasionally flashing up on the horizon. It was just one of those perfect travel moments. There are several other islands to check out, but mostly I just loved spending time in this slow-paced fishing village. It's definitely a hidden gem, the kind of place that, you know, it gets a few visitors, but that isn't in the Lonely Planet yet. As I mentioned, Rincón del Mar is a little bit out of the way, and that meant in order for me to get back to the travel trail in northern Colombia, I had to make a journey with six different segments in a single day. I had to get a motor taxi, a bus, another bus, then another taxi, and then finally I arrived in Santa Marta where it was already getting dark. Following my instruction, I waited on the street outside the police station for Gato. A man known as the Cat would take me on his motorbike through dirt roads in the dark 
to a jungle location. <sighs> All right, that was a bit of a journey yesterday. I first had to take a motor taxi, then a bus, then another bus, which had kind of two legs to the journey, so it felt like two buses, then another taxi, and then another motorbike taxi through dark on a dirt road. It was kind of a pain in the ass to travel all this way, but it was worth it because now I'm in Paso del Mango. Paso del Mango is a lovely valley that's located on the other side of the mountain from the better known Minca. It's a great nature destination where you can hike to several waterfalls. There are small cacao and coffee farms where you can learn about their cultivation. And despite being just 40 minutes or so from Santa Marta, you really are in an isolated location. Paso del Mango is truly a wonderful hidden gem for ecotourism. Reaction Where? Done is it this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Tree's bleeding. <laughs> there are only about five hostels here. I'm told that will stay probably the same because there's a, a river here that provides drinking water to a nearby city. So um, they're not handing out permits for more construction here or anything because they want to not contaminate the water. It's very important because there's only a couple of hostels here. It's a lot more quiet and I'm loving just the vibe here. And uh, it's, it's really the feeling that you're like in the middle of the jungle. I was staying at Finca Carpe Diem, which is an eco farm and a sustainable accommodation in the middle of this valley. It's kind of one of those hostels that you never leave because they have a restaurant, they have a bar, they organize tours. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so you are gonna use it as a base. But what a great base it is. There are three different pools, there are private cabanas, but also dorm rooms. So there's a great mix of travelers. And honestly, this is one of the best hostels I've stayed at in Colombia. You can stay in the dorms, but I'm staying in a cabana. So here are the MTV Cribs introduction. MTV Cribs, I don't even know if they still have in MTV Cribs. Maybe I'm just an old guy who is referring to something that hasn't been on television for a billion years. And who watches television anyway? Because we're all watching YouTube. Anyway, that was a reference to something old. Um, yeah, so you got this wonderful uh, um, netted bed. It's great. Um, got a little wonderful view here. That's the other cabanas. Yes. And one thing to know though is this is definitely a jungle place. And if we're in the jungle, you're gonna have bugs. <laughs> I just got here and found a bunch of worms. I guess they're like centipedes or something. There were like four of them crawling in different areas. One of them was like right here on the edge of the bed. So I was like, hey, that's not cool. So I did evict that particular worm. Uh, I sent that worm out into the big world to go out and explore. <laughs> One issue though, I locked myself out. A mechanic had to come and he was, he had this huge cutting knife, this jungle knife, and he tried to pry open this lock with the jungle knife, didn't work. Then he tried to use the jungle knife as a screwdriver, didn't work. Then he used the jungle knife to carve out a piece of plastic from a bottle and basically turn that into like a credit card, you know, the technique of trying to open a door. Uh, none of that worked, but we managed to open this window here and then I crawled through and then I opened the door from the inside. So sometimes you got to have a little adventure that is not in a jungle, but is just the adventure of getting in back into your cabana. Anyway, it's a beautiful place here. It's kind of totally nuts. At the back of the finca is a trail that goes to a private viewing point. Now, this was a great hike with beautiful views of the Sierra Nevada and so many butterflies that were like the size of my hand. Oh, 
Here we could watch a gorgeous sunset with Santa Marta and Terona National Park, visible way off in the distance. Now, my original idea for this video was to do a big compilation of all the places in Colombia that I really loved, but the video got a little bit long. So here I'm gonna turn it into a choose your own adventure series. You can go with me to the Pacific coast where I saw humpback whales jumping out of the water, where I did hikes through the jungles. It's a very remote place and one of my favorite in Colombia. Or come with me to the coffee region of Colombia where I went thoroughly off the beaten track. I visited some villages that most travelers do not know about and I had some very interesting journeys on a Chiva, a colorful local type of bus. Continue on the next video or hey, why not watch them both? Or maybe like and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of my videos.